Morning, everybody. I figure since um, I used all my soaps that I'm gonna go back and revisit one that I didn't get on camera. So we're going to Savile. Rafost and Katie's. So I actually didn't shave with Katie's on camera, so just wet the face a little bit more. Get the bloom water. I don't know why I dry my hands sometimes, put bloom water on my face, but. <laughs> And we'll get low. So, when I used Katie's uh, initially, my only, I wouldn't even say it's a gripe or an issue, but it's only kind of somewhat negative. Um, the negative feedback I could give is that. The post shave isn't as good as some of my other soaps, but those are all the soaps with added, uh, you know, like goat's milk, donkey milk, lanolin, stuff like that. So, I mean, as far as like soaps that are tallow, and tallow only. Um, I mean, it really blows them out of the water. Even, even a soap with tallow and lanolin, I'd say it's at the very least comparable. But I mean, it's it's still good. But I mean, overall, the the lather density, volume, slickness throughout the shave is excellent. So, like I said, it's not really a gripe or an issue. I'd say it's just an area that for me personally I uh, I noticed but like I said it's it's not a bad post shave but that was my first time So, excellent looking lather.
guys, so super slick. Yeah, absolutely top shelf in that department. Great first pass. See how the skin's feeling on the rinse. There you go. Um, kind of like I said. Um, in that video that I had about Katie's, it was my first use, so there was a chance that I, um, you know, underhydrated or something, and that feels like it may be the case because, um, right now my skin's feeling great, so. So Friday, hope everybody is uh, having a good Friday so far, or I think a lot of people, by the time I get this up, like you're probably gonna be at home watching this at work, or at home watching this after work. Oh, hope you guys have something fun planned for the weekend. I know um, most people who have kids are going to be done with school. So, excited to spend time with the family, I'm sure. All my little cousins are done with school now, so... to spend a little bit more time with them.
Uh, I was um, put in a comment on uh, Manny from SoCal Shaves uh, video that his razor and uh, my razor looked really similar. He had, uh, I believe it was either a Dovo or a Boker. I think it was a Dovo. But it had, um, I mean, really the only difference was a Spanish point on his, mine's a Frenchie, and, uh, you know, the logo, because his is a Dovo, but the, the scales looked really similar, so I, I told him, hey, maybe they're the same horn. But uh, when he did his straight razor shave, didn't go too smoothly for him, uh, which is unfortunate. But uh, he's trying to. experiment with edges from different owners and I think that's one of the biggest downfalls of a straight razor is that um you know, you have to get your razor honed up, and if the edge isn't compatible with your skin or your hair, like if the blade isn't sharp enough or it's too sharp, then the only way to remedy that is to get it honed again. And it's not the, the honer's fault or anything. It's just, uh, you know, the edge just doesn't work out. But, um, you know, trying to figure out what edge works for you might get kind of expensive. So, uh, you know, with a Chevette or a DE, blade doesn't work, pop it out, try a new one. So, yeah, it feels good. Yeah, I think this one compared to my first one is definitely a little wetter, which is kind of what I was going for.
so I think that's assisting in the post shave, having a little more moisture in the uh, in the lather. Finish up. So with this Frenchie, the uh, points for me that get really hard, oh, got a little weaker from that bump, are right over here. Cause I don't know if you can see, but my uh, my trachea sticks out a lot, and so because of that, it uh, creates these two little hollows right there. So when I skin stretch, I try to pull them so that they become more flat. So that's just a little tip for anybody with the hollow. I say it in some of my videos sometimes, but uh, yeah, just pull the skin 
to an area that's a little bit easier to shave. When I have a round point, it's not so bad, but it's mostly with like uh, my Frenchie. Uh, my GD doesn't really give me the issue, so. Not my GD, my weight and butcher, my GD's round. Paul Shea definitely feels better this time around with the uh, slightly more hydrated lather. So like I said, first use, any kind of negativeness, probably my fault. So well, let me kind of re-dampen my hand. So we're gonna be going with the same thing as the first time. Chatelon Lux, pure lavender. So with the Katie's, I don't really address, um, address scent very much because it is very subjective. But from that, I get a very, um, I don't really pick up a lot of grapefruit. I think the grapefruit is there to uh, balance out the earthiness that the lavender has. So the lavender for me is very fresh. And I didn't realize my girlfriend got on camera until she showed me yesterday and she was like, haha, see? So, I will get her to actually come and say hi one day instead of just... Popping in and out. Oh, it feels great. Okay. So. Excellent shave was had with Katie's. Not that it wasn't excellent last time. It was just, like, like I said, post-shave felt just slightly lacking to me in comparison to some other soaps. But this time around, went with a little bit more hydration in the lather. And that yeah, feels excellent now. So, there you have it. So, uh, just to recap. Savo Road, 33.24. Went with uh, Ralph Ost. So, all the specifics on this one. This is a uh, 6 eighths heelless blade with a French point. Got some... Uh, spine work on it and we have horn scales so that's this one and then Katie's bubbles purple grapefruit a little bit of not a re-review but um, revisiting on impressions and then finished off with 
Chatelon Lux, pure lavender. So I hope everybody has a good Friday. Um, you know, stay safe, drive safe. Uh, if you go out Friday night, don't drink and drive. And even if you're, um, you know, not drinking and you're just going out, just watch out for um, people who have been because I feel like that's that's just another danger. So uh, yeah, so just stay safe and yeah, see you tomorrow. So see ya.